With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question we have on a long horizontally moving belt, a child runs to and fro with a speed of 9 km per hour with respect to the belt. Between his father and mother located 50 meter apart on a moving belt, right? The belt moves with a speed of 4 km per hour, uh, 4 km per hour for an observer on a stationary platform outside. What is the speed of the child running in the direction of the motion of uh, belt and speed of the child running opposite to the uh, direction of motion of belt and lastly time taken by the child in 1 and 2, right? And we have to determine which of the answers alter if motion is viewed by one of the parents. Okay. Now let us draw the diagram for the given question. Let's say that this is the moving belt. Okay. And here um, father is located here and mother is located here and the child is running to and fro on this belt. Now the speed of the belt is 4 km per hour. Also the distance between father and mother, this distance is 50 meters and the velocity of the child is 9 km per hour. Okay, so now we have to determine speed of the child running in the direction of motion of the belt, right? And we have to determine this with the context of observer on a stationary platform, okay? So that means uh, we have to determine the relative velocity with respect to ground. This means that if there is a stationary observer standing on the ground, he will see that the belt is moving with a velocity of 4 km per hour and when this child is running along the motion of the belt, uh, his own velocity is 9 km per hour. Okay. So these two velocities will get added up. Therefore, velocity of child with respect to ground, that will be equal to 9 plus 4, that means 13 km per hour. Okay, so this is for uh, part 1 of the question. Okay, now part 2 is speed of the child running opposite to the direction of motion of the belt. So this means that in this case, velocity of the child with respect to ground, um, if the child is running opposite to the motion of belt, this will be 9 minus 4. Okay, so 9 minus 4, uh, in this case, velocity will be 5 km per hour. Now in the third part, uh, we have to find time taken by child in uh, 1 and 2. So here in the case 1 and also in case 2, uh, the total distance that is distance of 50 meters will remain same, right? And the velocity of child that is 9 km per hour that will also remain same. Even though the belt is moving with a uh, 4 km per hour velocity, uh, the child will have to co cover the same distance 50 km per hour in this direction with the same amount of speed and when the child goes from mother and even when the child goes in the direction opposite to the belt, the distance covered will remain 50 meters only and the speed of the child that is 9 km per hour that will also remain the same. That means the time in both the cases will be same and that time will be equal to distance upon velocity of the child, right? Now here velocity of the child is uh, 50 km per hour and the distance is in meters, okay? So to convert in SI units, velocity of the child is 9, uh, this is in kilometer per hour. So to convert in meter per second, I will multiply it by um, 5 by 18, okay. So velocity of the child will be, uh, this will be equal to 2.5 meter per second, okay. So therefore time will be equal to 50 divided by um, 2.5, okay. So this will be equal to 20 seconds, right? So the time uh, will be 20 seconds in both the cases and the velocity will be 13 uh, km per hour in case 1 and 15 km per hour in case 2, right? So if we look up the op options, option D will be correct. And also last part of the question says which of the answers alter if the motion is viewed by one of the parents. Now for the motion observed with respect to the parents, Parents are stationary on the moving belt. So in the frame of reference of parents, 
the distance will again remain the same so that means the time uh, taken by child to reach from one point to another will remain the same but the velocity of the child that will change that means uh, for case 1 it was 13 km per hour but as uh, parents are stationary with respect to the belt that means the velocity of the child will be only 9 km per hour uh, this will be the same for mother and this will be the same for father okay because both are stationary and uh, if the child is moving in this direction uh, the velocity will be 9 km per hour and if the uh, child is moving towards the father uh, the velocity will be same so this means that the quantity uh, relative velocity with respect to the ground that will change but time will remain the same okay so this is the final answer for this question okay for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today